Back in 1998, PayPal was created, by far the internet's most popular way to pay for stuff. Even a very dorky super genius by the name of Elon Musk had a hand in the company. Now fast forward to today, PayPal is still a massively successful company, but there's just one problem. Their website sucks. Plagued with a myriad of issues that break common UI design principles, we're going to see if we can refactor this into a much better, more modern product. And by the way, if you want to see the full-length refactor of this episode along with others in the past, check out the top link in the YouTube description here. All right, so let's get started with the navigation. I actually like their navigation and I'm not going to really change it very much. As we can see here, we have the logo. We also have the menu that's right next to it, which is very consistent with the original. And then also the help login and sign up buttons. And the only thing I changed there is I'm not using strictly pill straight containers. And as you can see, if we compare the both, they're very, very similar. Now, the next up part is going to be the hero section. And the hero section, we could leave it exactly like this or we can make it a little bit more seamless if we make this change. Now, of course, when we do this, we have to fix the contrast on the type in the navigation. So there we go. We can just make everything pretty much white. So we're going from this, where we have a block up top and also a block in the middle, or we could just have a single block here to make it just a bit more seamless. All right, so next up is gonna be the hero section type, like the headline, the subheadline, and the actual call to action button. Now, if we compare that to the original, we'll see that theirs is a little bit squashed up and the topography just isn't quite on par uh, with the revised version. There are three columns here, but we have issues with their low quality graphic and this unbalanced login card. So we're gonna simplify this into two columns where we have this little isometric iPhone graphic. And by the way, I use Midjourney to generate this and I'll show you exactly how to do that in the full course. And then also we have this overlay. Their overlay is very weak, pretty much hard to see and unrecognizable. So I made this a lot larger. Now to make this a little bit more interesting, we can introduce a little bit of graphic design in this illustration. So for instance, we can kind of make it appear like it's coming up and out with these little lines here at the bottom. We can also uh, kind of frame this around here to accentuate the fact that it's extending beyond the hero section background. And this kind of just gives us a nice layering effect. Um, we could also do it in the background here. So we can see if we zoom up, we have these cool little abstract blocks and we can kind of use that as a motif that can recur throughout the design. For instance, on the right hand side, maybe perhaps balance it out, we can add the same sort of thing over here. Very cool. So without it, it looks like this. And again, it's very simple, nothing objectively wrong with it. However, if we go ahead back and add it, it just adds a little bit more to the design. So if we compare the two against each other, here is PayPal's. And then here is mine. I think we could definitely agree there's a big improvement. Now let's work on the next section, which is these two feature blips. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of mine here. And you can see we have good typographic visual hierarchy between them. I decided to add an icon for more visual interest. And I'm gonna add the second as well, right underneath it. So just pay attention to the difference between these two sections if we compare the original with mine. You can see there's a lot more white space and there's a lot more better defined typographic visual hierarchy between the type-based elements. All right, so for the next section, we have find a solution provider with PayPal built in. And this part in their design is really cluttered. So I'm gonna space things out a lot more with better white space and better topography. So we have a headline, a subheadline. I'm also going to bring back this little watermark on the side, just to kind of continue on with the, uh, the little motif that we've created. And I'm also gonna use Mid Journey to create an isometric uh, little storefront where I've also added the PayPal logo on top. So this basically tells a story with visual interest. So it's find a solution provider with a PayPal built in. And of course, right here, we're, we're basically mimicking that in the sense of a Mid Journey generated uh, asset. Now we can also separate the three feature columns with a line separator, which the original has these as well. And then finally, we have our three feature blips. So we have create a square space online store with a sub headline, and then also a start your free trial button. And then we have another one here. And notice I'm keeping these aligned 
at the baseline. Uh, we don't wanna have start your free trial up here and then get started with Magento down there. It just kind of creates for an inconsistent layout. Finally, we have the third one and there we go. So if we compare this design with the original, this is what you get. All right, everybody, if you want to see exactly how I refactored this design in real time, along with utilizing MidJourney for the assets, click the talk link here in the YouTube description to get access to this refactor, along with many others I've done in the past. All right, everybody, I'll see you all soon, and goodbye.